moments before gospel star Deborah Fraser passed away. A dark silence has descended on the local entertainment industry. The legendary, multi-award winning gospel singer Dr. Deborah Fraser, 56, has passed away. A few weeks ago she told the publication she was hopeful she would get better, but that was not to be. In a short statement, Fraser's family said she passed away on Sunday May 15 just after midday, surrounded by her family and friends. Speaking on behalf of the family, Nantando Mafisa said, It is with deep sadness to inform you of the passing of our beloved mother, sister, aunt, and friend, and gospel musician, Deborah Fraser following a short illness. Mafisa said as the Fraser family they would like to be given space to process and deal with the very tragic situation. On April 22, Deborah opened up to the People's Paper that she was not doing well and that was the reason why she could not walk anymore. Fraser revealed that she has been in and out of the hospital and in February she was hospitalized for two months. Although she was ill, she was hopeful she would get better as she was getting all the support from the doctors and nurses. The Um Samaria hitmaker had revealed over the years that she was diabetic. In 2009, her mother succumbed to diabetes. Former public relations manager at Universal Records, Tobiso McWhatlehe, told Daily Sun he was still in shock after hearing the news. He said he worked with Fraser for over 23 years. I will go see the family tomorrow, now I don't have the energy to talk, he said. Fellow gospel artist Liuyanda Ramatswi said he was heartbroken by the news. He said Fraser was like a mother to him. She played a huge role in my music career, he said. I'm lost for words. I spoke to her on Friday when she invited me to prayers at her house but I couldn't go because my spirit wasn't feeling right. That was the last time I spoke to her. The veteran singer began her career in 1985 as a backing singer and recorded her own album titled Abanyi Bayambana in 2000. The album has sold over 1 million copies. Uhambo was her 10th studio album with 14 songs, including the hit Njikanji Yekyukuthandaza.